So, welcome to today's lecture. If you recall, in the previous lecture, we had started looking at uh, geometric representation of the plane. So, uh, let me explain that a bit more so that we have a good idea about. Uh, so, here is R cross R. So, R2, so this is the Cartesian product of the set of real numbers with itself. So, as a set R2 is nothing but x comma y where x and y both belong to R. So, this is a set of all ordered pairs. What is the geometric representation of this? We, we take this as the plane, okay, this paper as the plane and on the plane we draw two lines one <coughs> vertical and other horizontal. So, this we mark it with arrows. You can think of this as a copy of the real line starting at 0. So, on the, this side will be 1, 2, 3 and so on. On this side minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. The vertical also is a copy of the real line where upside is positive. So, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3 and so on and the bottom side is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. So, we have made, uh, uh, we have made two copies of the real line, one is horizontal, the other is vertical and both are perpendicular to each other. What we want to do is every point every ordered pair x comma y belonging to R2, we want to associate to it a point P in this plane. So, this is my plane, right, a point P. So, how do we locate the point P? When we have the ordered pair x comma y, we would look at x okay, and then move x units along the horizontal axis. So, this is what is called the x axis horizontal and the vertical one is called the y axis. So, x units along the horizontal line. So, we go if x is positive we will go this side, if x is negative we will go this side. So, somewhere x comes x units. So, this is x right. In the ordered pair for y, we have got the number y. So, what we will do is again look at whether y is positive or negative. If it is positive, we go up. If y is negative, we go down and that many units. So, let us say y is positive. So, we go up right, and reach a point. So, this is y units. So, we reach a point and this point is called p. So, p we say p has got coordinates x comma y that means x units you move on the x along x axis and then go parallel to y axis and distance is y. So, that is so from here R2 to plane we have got a map. This map is a correspondence actually why it is a correspondence. Now, suppose I am given any point p right it has got coordinates alpha beta say ok so what does that mean that means if i move alpha alpha is along x axis beta is along y axis so this distance will be beta and this distance will be alpha right so to reach this point i have to move alpha units and then beta units i get so, every this so these points gets associated with alpha comma beta ordered pair belonging to R2. So, what we are saying is every point in the plane gets associated with uh, an ordered pair and every ordered pair gives rise of a point. So, this is the set theoretic representation as a set and this is the geometric representation of uh, the plane as set of points. So, we will be using this to represent the graph of a function. So,
So, let us take a graph of a function. So, f is a function from a set x which is to a set y, right. Here we have got um, x is a subset of r. So, let us be more precise f is from x a subset of r to y which is also a subset of r. So, what is graph of f? Graph of f is nothing but the set of ordered pairs x comma f of x, x belonging to x, right. That is a subset of r cross r that is r 2. How do we represent it graphically? So, as before we take our graphic representation. So, this is x axis, this is y axis, this is x axis. So, what we do? You take any point x comma f x. So, so take x, this is x units okay. and what we do? From we now we move how many units y? y is f of x. So, go parallel to say go parallel you will get f of x. So, this is f of x, this height and this is x. So, you get a point. So, locate all such points. So, given any point x, locate maybe f of x is here, maybe f of x is for this point x, x for this point x, f of x may be somewhere here, right. So, these dots will represent the graph of the function g of uh, graph of the function f. So, these dots are the for this x, f of x could be probably here. So, these dots represent the graph of the function f. So, that is what geometric representation of uh, uh, the graph means. So, here is uh, an observation that a graph normally will give you some kind of uh, a curve in the plane. A graph will give you a some kind of a curve in the plane, right. But every curve in the plane need not be the graph of a function. This is slightly a subtle point, we will see it uh, uh, soon what does that mean. So, uh, for example, let us uh, let us look at a picture and try to see. Let us say this is the x is and this is the graph f of x. So, that is my graph. So, here is y, here is x. So, for a point, for a point x, what is f of x? So, this is f of x because what are the coordinates of this point? x comma f of x. So, this is also uh, I think this is the right time to also say that how do you interpret a graph? So, we are given some graph ok. What does that mean? That means, if I take at any point x a vertical line, then wherever it cuts it that is the value of f of x. So, at every x this is f of x. Okay, at every point x, this is this point is f of x, right? And you see in this uh, picture, whenever I am drawing a line at every point x, a horizontal line that cuts the graph only at one point. So this line that drawn is the graph of a function. It is a relation which is a function. Let me draw another graph, another curve and look at what is happening. So, let us draw another picture and let us look at uh, f of x. Can I say that this curve is the graph of a function f? So, let us call this curve as some this curve. So, let us is this the graph 
of a function. So this is my x, this is my y, right? So if it is the graph of a function, then it is from r to r, right? Because this is how I have looked at this is a real line, this is 0, 0, and so on, okay? Now, for a graph, what is the, it is a subset of the plane, this is r2. So it is a relation. So this uh, points x, y on this blue curve are related to each other because they are on the curve. Now the question is, can I say this is the graph of a function? Well, to be the graph of a function, what is the property we want? For every x belonging to R, x should go to unique y equal to f of x. And how do we find? For any point x, what is f of x? For x, so I draw a vertical line. So this is my f of x, this height, right? So this is my f of x. But if I go, for example, here, I take a point x and draw a vertical line, it intersects at more than one point. So that means what? At this point, possibly this could be the value of the function, this could be the value of the function, this could be the value of the function. That means these three points, right, if I look at corresponding points in y, so this is one point, this is the second point, and this is the third point. So these three points on y are related with the same point x. That means this condition is violated. x is not associated with the unique point y, it is associated with more than one point. So this blue curve is not the graph of a function. So a test for a graph, test for a curve to be the graph of a function is that every vertical line should intersect at the most at one point. So this is what we are saying that a curve in the plane such that every vertical line will intersect the curve at the most one will be the graph of a function. For example, here, so this if I take any point x and move it this word line around, then it intersects only once. So this is the, this blue line is the graph. But what we saw just now on paper, that is not the graph of a function. So not every picture in a plane is the graph of a function, right? So the test is, the vertical line test, every vertical line should not intersect in more than one point, uh, then it is a graph of a function. I think this is the right time also to look at what is called 1, 1 and on 2 function. So let us uh, look at uh, something. So let us say uh, f is a function from x which is again a subset of r to y which is a subset of r. x goes to f of x which is normally denoted by y. What is called a 1, 1 function Intuitively, uh, the real line, but let us imagine this is x and this is y. As such, there are parts of real line, but anyway, let us, for the understanding, let us say this is x. Possibly, a point x goes to a value f of x, right? So, let us call x1 goes to a value of, of x1, and another x2 also goes to some value f of x2, but it so happens x1 and are equal to x2. So if f is such that f of x1 is equal to f of x2 for x1 not equal to x2, that means different points go to same value, then we say f is not 1, 1. It is not 1, 1 because more than one value goes into the same value, right? So let us look at some examples of this. So let us look at a function f from 
real line to real line where f of x is equal to x square right for every x belonging to r ok. Now, can I say that if f of x 1 is equal to f of x 2, does this imply that x 1 is equal to x 2? Well, let us analyze f of x 1 equal to f of x 2, what does it imply? This implies by the given formula from here x 1 square is equal to x 2 square. Does this imply x 1 is equal to x 2? Well, we all know, know in general. For example, if I look at x 1 is equal to 2, x 2 equal to minus 2, then x 1 square is equal to 4 which is same as minus x 2 square. So, what does this mean? That means, that this function is not 1 1. So, let us uh, write this as an example of, so f of x equal to x square x belonging to r is not 1 1, is not a 1 1 function. Okay. Let us look at uh, geometrically what does it mean. Let us look at uh, a function f from r to r which you have already come across. Okay. f of x is equal to mod x. Okay. Once again it is not 1 1. Okay. Why it is not 1 1? For example, mod of x 1 equal to mod of x 2 does not imply does not imply x 1 is equal to x 2. It only implies that x 1 is equal to plus minus of x 2. So, this is not a 1 1 function. Right? Let us also define what is called uh, another property uh, or functions. So, let us say f is a function from x from a r to r. So, y is equal to f of x. Right. Now, recall we defined what is called the range of the function to be equal to all y such that y is equal to f of x for some x belonging to the domain. So, in general we saw examples range f is a subset of the core domain here it is r that is a core domain right. So, in case range f is equal to core domain f we say f is on to f is a on to function. A function f which is both one one and on to is called a bijective function. Before we give examples of uh, uh, 1 1 and 2 functions, more examples of it which you are able to visualize, let us uh, draw graphs of some easy functions. So, let us look at a function which is called the constant function. Normally, functions are specified by uh, formulas. So, let us look at a function say for example, from 1 to 2. So, this is the interval which is the part of the real line and the codomain is the real line. So, this is a function 
given by the formula f of x is equal to 1 for every x in the domain 1, 2. Let us try to draw a graph of this function. How would you draw the graph of this function? For every x, I should look at the ordered pair x comma f of x. f of x is equal to 1. That means, I should look at all ordered pairs x comma 1, x belonging to 1 to 2. But with the association, the ordered pairs x comma 1, what are these? So, these are points on the plane which lie on a line, on a horizontal line. Okay. So, what is that? So, a point between 1 and 2, if I take a point x here, what is f of x? f of x is a height 1, so this is the point. So, this line segment this line segment is the graph of this constant function f 1 to 2 to r by given by f of x is equal to 1. So, this is the constant function right taking the value 1 everywhere okay, on the domain which is 1 to 2. Okay. So, for this function the domain is the interval 1 to 2, it is the open interval 1 to 2. So, what is the range? Range is the single point 1. right? range is a single point 1. Can you say this is 1 1? Obviously not, this is not 1 1 because all the points in the domain all get mapped onto the same value 1. So, this is a function which is not 1 1. right? And codomain is r, what is the range? The single point 1. So, this is also not on 2. So, this is neither 1 1 nor on to. Okay. But it is a nice uh, very simple uh, function with a nice graph. So, the constant function f x is equal to 1 in this domain 1 to 2 this is a graph of it. Let us look at uh, slightly more uh, uh, general example. Let us look at a function r to r given by the formula y is equal to f of x. It is m times x where m is a fixed real number. So, what we are saying? Every point x is related to y, where y is equal to m of x. Right? We want to look at the graph of this function. What is the pictorial representation of this function? So, graph of this is the set x comma m of x, x comma y, where y is equal to f of x. So, the graph is x comma m of x x belonging to real line. So, let us see these ordered pairs how they get represented on the plane in terms of the coordinates that we have defined. right? So, using school geometry we can visualize it as follows. First, let us note that the point 0 0 belongs to the graph. If x is 0, x is 0 in the domain then y is also 0 0. So, the point with coordinates 0 0 is on the graph of the function. right? Next, let us take two points P and Q on the graph. So, the first point is with x coordinate x 1. So, what will be the y coordinate? m of x 1. Q is x 2. So, the y coordinate will be m of x 2 because that is a function f of x. So, the, given these two points, so, these are two points. Let us take any general point x comma m x on the graph of the function. So, now this is a point P which is x 1 m x 1. This is the point Q which is m 2 x 2 m of x 2 y is m of x 2. So, and 0 0 is already on the graph. So, let us look at these two triangles O P A and O Q B or you can also look at uh, the uh, triangle uh, P Q C. So, let us look at this triangle P O A and Q P C. These two triangles are similar triangles because this angle is 90, this angle is 90, this angle is equal to this angle because this is the horizontal line I have drawn, this is the vertical line. So, 
these two angles are equal by the property of parallel lines in a transversal intersecting these two angles. So, these two triangles are similar. What does the similarity of triangles means? Similarity of triangles says that the ratio of the corresponding sides are equal. So, P A by O A is same as Q C by P C right. So, what is uh, P A by O A? So, that is M x 1 divided by x 1 that is M right and M x 2 this point is M x 1. So, what is this height? That is M times x 2 minus x 1 this height is this base is equal to M times x 2 minus x 1. So, that gives us the relations. So, uh, that is not visible. So, let me write that. So, that gives us the relations M is equal to um, P A divided by O A that is also equal to Q C divided by C P. This one is equal to M times x by x 1 by x 1 and this is equal to M times x 2 minus x 1 this is by x 2 minus x 1. So, all these are equal right. So, what is M? M if I take x 1 equal to 1 okay, then it is equal to P A if O A is equal to 1 right. So, that essentially what we are saying is if I take any two points right, then they are going to be uh, on the same line that is the red dotted line. So, the graph of uh, this because if I take any two points uh, on that line then the ratio is same. So, for every point x if I take a point here that is going to be uh, the ratio is going to be same. So, that triangle is going to be same as similar to this triangle. So, all these points are going to lie on the line. So, that means that the, equa the equation of the line. So, that means the line y equal to m x will have graph as a line where if I take this distance as 1 right this height will be equal to m. Okay. So, that is the property. So, that is a graph of in general if I take uh, a function y equal to m x plus c where m and c are fixed then if c is 0 it is the original graph and only what we are doing is by changing the y value of y by uh, adding c to it. So, it is just uh, moving uh, translating moving the graph of the original function uh, by c units. It, if m x is equal to 0 then y is equal to c. So, it passes through the point um, 0 comma c and uh, m remains the same that uh, inclination in a sense remains the same it is parallel. So, that means if this is a line y equal to m i x plus c and if we just translate it and draw a parallel line then this is the graph of uh, the function y equal to m x plus c this is. So, uh, such functions are called linear functions. So, what we have done is we have looked at the concept of a relation, look at the concept of a function, we have tried to discuss uh, when is a relation called a function. Functions are normally given by formulas. We have tried to look at the graph of a function as a subset of the Cartesian product and we have drawn the graph of uh, a linear function y equal to m x plus c and that turns out to be a line and conversely one can easily show uh, probably we will do it in the next lecture that every line is the graph of a linear function. So, thank you.